Now here's a fun drink that's easier to make than the end result looks, so it's sure to impress your friends. Uh, it tastes great, and the best thing is it goes with spicy foods, and uh, most of the ingredients are pretty easy to find. So you're going to need to probably make a trip to the grocery store for this one. Uh, you're going to have to get some mango nectar. I got this out of the international aisle. Uh, it had the best uh, lowest sugar ratio. You don't want to get it too high in sugar. Uh, you got your bitters, some ginger ale, ginger beer. Uh, one mango, you're going to need that to make your uh, garnish here. It's just a, a bamboo skewer cut in half and you add some three cubes of mango to that, fresh mango. Uh, lime juice, or a lime for fresh lime juice. And cocktail shaker, of course, can't make it without Maker's Mark. And we've got a cocktail glass here filled with ice. That's the end result. So you're going to start off, uh, take your cocktail shaker. We've already got some ice in here. Got that ready to go. And we're going to do two parts of Maker's Mark. This drink is called the Ginger Rogers, and it will have you dancing on air. I don't even know if that reference is correct. I know that's from a song, but uh, maybe Ginger Rogers was a dancer. I'm sure somebody out there will correct me if she wasn't. Now again, we've got mango nectar. It's fairly easy to find. Um, you just have to look for it in your grocery store. You're going to need two and a half parts of that. We're going to put all this into the cocktail shaker. One, two, and a half. Shake this up good. Uh, it doesn't usually get settlement, but sometimes it does settle. I uh, need a half part of the fresh lime juice. So I've got these wedges pre-cut on the side here. So I'm just going to squeeze that. It should just take a few of these, probably half a lime. I was going to use a, a lime cutter, but I mean a lime cutter, a juicer, but I figured this would be just as easy, and maybe taking longer than I thought, but the nice thing about this going to spicy food is, if you're really doing authentic spicy food, usually some lime juice, if you've never Squeeze lime juice onto your spicy food. You should really try that. That's definitely the way to go. Got one more over here. And we'll get us our half part. We'll go ahead and drop one of those in there. You know what? I'll drop two of those in there. Why not? Now, a dash of Angostura bitters. Popular bitters. As you probably know, my dashes are always two dashes of bitters. One half part of our ginger ale. We've switched from ginger beer to ginger ale because it's more cost effective. I said one half part. Okay, I'm going to pour just a little bit in there. And shake it. About 25 seconds. Count with me here. 23, 24. And 25. Just going to strain this into our cocktail glass that's waiting. Pull this back so we can actually see it. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful that is. Oh wow. Take our three mango cube garnish, toss that right on there. This is uh, the Ginger Rogers, like I said. It's a lovely day in the neighborhood, right? Oh, that is sure to please. Have a great week.